Hello everybody and welcome to my trading channel and in this video I will be discussing the accumulation phase. Now let's break that down. What does accumulate actually mean? It means to gather together a gradual increase in the number of orders. So basically before a large move does take place, whether it be banks, inter interbanks, hedge funds, they accumulate their orders before price breaks out of either direction and moves aggressively. So we can expect to see something like that in pretty much all markets across the board. Now we can see at the moment for Euro AUD, it, price action is currently in the accumulation phase. And we can see by looking left that this has happened before. This is the example here. So we can see there has been a number of orders and price has gradually been accumulating these orders before we saw this move to the downside. And the move that followed after this accumulation phase was, was a large move to the downside. So the longer price accumulates, the bigger the move that follows after. Now, how can we tell what direction price is going to move in the after the accumulation phase is all dependent obviously on how price reacts at certain levels of structure. So we can see here by looking left, price created this double top, which is also an M formation. Okay. So we had this double top M and we can also add in market structure. By looking left, we can see here, okay, where this double top M had formed previously, price came into that area exactly, didn't go above at all, okay, gathered liquidity. Any big move takes place, there is most likely going to be a large manipulation push opposite to the direction where price is going. And we can see that here it happened on two occasions, but on both occasions price did not even pierce above this market structure. So market structure is king. So we know that price accumulates before a large move does take place, but we have to determine obviously what direction price is going to go in on that large move. Okay, so we had the double top here. So after this double top did form and we had that bearish candle close confirming the double top, that was a strong sign that price was more than likely going to break out and push to the downside. Now, if we look at what price is currently doing now, we have similar price action. Obviously on the daily time frame, we are creating higher lows and higher highs. But after this recent high was formed, price has went into an accumulation phase, which is what price is doing at the moment inside of this box. So now we have to be patient and wait for the breakout. Okay, we could say that again, this to be a double top, and if we do look left, that this area is also in line with daily market structure. And if we look all the way left and extend out the box, we can see here how prominent that area of structure is. Okay. So this could potentially be a similar price action pattern to what we have seen currently. Now, we would need to wait for the breakout, which would be this level of daily structure. We can also see that on this level of structure, the 200 EMA is sitting directly under. So there's a lot of confluence sitting at that area. So we could expect to see price come down into that area whether we break this area or not, or if we come back up into this accumulation phase and continue to consolidate before then breaking and moving to the downside. 
So this is just another scenario that we have to keep our minds open for. The accumulation phase, we have to expect price to keep accumulating, to keep consolidating. Once we get the breakout and confirm breakout of, clo of the close below this area, that's when we can be more confident in our bias and that's when we can have a, and when maintain a higher probability bias on a certain direction. At the moment, we are still in a 50-50% probability because it could still go one or two ways. However, if we get this break and close below this area of daily market structure, that is a high probability setup. So as you can see, Accumulation is always necessary on all pairs before a large move. And if you scroll back on any currency pair, you can see that it happens all the time. Price will repeat this consistently. We had another accumulation phase here, followed by a liquidity collection push to the upside creating these wicks before moving to the downside. So accumulation and then manipulation, liquidity collection, followed by the true move. Okay, this area could have been the take profit, as we know this is a low and a safe area. That would have been at least 600 to 700 pips to the downside, which is a decent trade. And if we scroll all the way left, we can see many phases of accumulation, for example here, before the move, a move takes place. We can look and scroll left on any currency pair and see there is either going to be mini accumulation phases or large accumulation phases, such as this area and pr what price is currently doing. Okay, we can go through any currency pair and see price action like this before a move breaks out to the upside or to the downside and starts trending. Okay, let's move more so to the left. There's another accumulation here, which I had pointed out. Another area here. Obviously, because this is a daily time frame, if we go down to the smaller time frames, we will see that these accumulation phases appear to be much larger. Okay, and they would be then considered successful intraday trades after price breaks out of that accumulation phase. So as traders, we must always be aware of these phases in the markets. They repeat themselves all of the time. Here's another one. There is just so many examples of different accumulation phases, guys. Like here's another one. We have another one here. Price collected the liquidity and then move to the downside in the trend. Okay, that would then be considered obviously a four hour trend as that price action will appear much larger on the smaller time frames. So guys, it is very important to understand this. Price isn't always going to be moving smoothly in one direction. There are always going to be either corrections or accumulation consolidation phases. Here's another one right here. Price was accumulating before then moving to the downside and in that downside move it moves straight to the downside for many days. That first daily candle where we, where we saw price break out, from then we had straight downside for over 500 pips. And if we zoom in closer, and we can even move down to the four hour time frame, we see that price did retest this area here, which was the low of this consolidation range. And then we move straight back to the downside and continued for days. So it is absolutely vital to make sure you understand these types of movements.
and to understand it more, we must backtest, which is what I am doing right now with you guys in this video. This is all backtesting. So then we can apply it into our future trades and we can notice these patterns much more easily than what we have been able to do prior. It's just gathering more information, more data to sharpen our edge. So that's it guys for this short video on accumulation phases. If you want to learn more about this in depth, feel free to reach out to me. Obviously, as I do offer mentoring services and one-on-one -on -one teaching. That's it, guys. I hope you have a great day.